Hey guys, welcome to the BD Themes widget tutorial. Today we are going to show you how to use Rubik slider by Prime Slider in Elementor. Let's start. The Rubik's is an amazing slider widget that helps you showcase your products nicely. To insert the widget inside the page, just go to the widget menu in Elementor and drag drop the Rubik slider widget into the text area. After inserting the widget, you can see an auto sliding post with the default view containing an image and text with double thumb post gallery interface. Whoa, I spoke a lot. Now we'll edit the layout of the Rubik slider. Just go to the layout menu under the content tab. Then in the column option, you can change the number of columns up to 3. After that, you can change the item height as needed using the horizontal scroller. The next scroll bar lets you change the thumb's max width. You can also change the position of the thumbs either on top or bottom of the content. After that, you can change the alignment of the content or text to left, middle or right. In the last option of layout, you can change the image size by selecting from the drop down menu as you need. Now go to the query menu. Here you can select the source of the slider and set the item limit to display in the slider interface. The include field lets you define specific categories of posts to display. For instance, select terms in the include by field, then type in the category you want to display in the terms field. Now the slider will only show posts belonging to the specific category. You can change the date, order by and order to further change the lineup of the posts. Now go to the additional settings section. Here you can see some switchers and fields. Using these switchers, you can show or hide the post title, text, category, author, etc. The fields are for setting condition for specific switchers like the title tag, text limit, and custom read more button text. Next, go to the slider settings section. Here also you can see some switchers and a field with a scroll bar. Turning off the autoplay will stop the slider from showing content automatically. Then you can choose the number of sliders to slide when scrolling. The rest are center slide, grab cursor, loop, drag mode, etc. switchers here. Now go to the style tab to customize your slider appearance. Let's go to the items menu to change the background color. Let's pick a gradient and add colors to both color points. Then set the angle of the color shift using the scroller. After that, change the color of the active line that stays on top of the slider. You can set the height of the line too. Next, go to the title section. Here, change the title color to white. You can also change the hover color and set the text spacing as well as typography. After that, go to the text section. Let's change the text color to white too. You can set the margin and max width and change the typography of the text as you want. Next, go to the date section. Just change the text color to white and edit the typography if you need it. You can also change the icon color on the left of the text. For example, change the background color with load transparency. There are other options you can change in the icon mode. After that, go to the category section. Let's change the color to something deeper. Then white for the background. Apply a high value border radius to bend the corners of the background. Then edit the padding to add space to the background. Now go to the thumb slider menu. 
There are three modes, normal, hover and active. For the normal mode, let's change the background color. Next, change the line color to white. Also make the titles white too. The same white for the meta. Next, for the hover mode, change the hover line color to white. Then for the active mode, change the background color to gradient and pick colors. Then just change the angle of the color displayed here. Finally, go back to the content app, then to the slider settings, enable autoplay switcher and hit the update button. Now just go to the preview field to have a nice look at the Rubik slider you have just created. That's all about it. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Until next time.